tonight. It is the senator versus the billionaire in a battle over a tax plan and maybe even the White House. Former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz says that he is seriously considering a run for the president as an independent. And today he and Senator Elizabeth Warren traded words over her plan to raise taxes on the wealthy. As political analyst John Keller shows us, Warren's criticism is just one of the many hurdles that Schultz is already facing. The big idea is very simple, to unite the country. Unlike the popular coffee that has made him a billionaire, Schultz's grande political ambitions aren't going down smoothly so far. A heckler at this New York book signing event spoke for many Democrats. Don't help elect Trump, you egotistical billionaire And if Republicans would prefer he be taken seriously, they're doing a good job of hiding it. My personal opinion is that there aren't enough Pilate instructors in America for him to win. Even the president himself weighed in, tweeting, Howard Schultz doesn't have the guts to run for president. I agree with him that he is not the smartest person. Besides, America already has that. But perhaps the strongest indictment of the coffee baron's potential campaign came today from Senator Elizabeth Warren after Schultz trashed her call for higher taxes on ultra-millionaires as, quote, ridiculous, tweeting, what's ridiculous is billionaires who think they can buy the presidency. Volunteers in all 50 states have asked me to run as a candidate for president of the United States. A third-party run didn't work for Ross Perot back in 1992, and former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who once considered running as an independent but is now eyeing a bid for the Democratic nomination, says the only serious path is through the two-party system. And he certainly looked into it. Then again, if a multimillionaire with a string of bankruptcies behind him can get elected while spending less than 70 million of his own money, you know who I'm talking about. Sure. Why can't a, a mega barista who cons people into buying $7 a cup coffee do the same? The difference is Schultz wouldn't be running within a party, and he does not have the name recognition of Donald Trump. This is the, pr well, the name recognition is a good point, but this is the core problem. There's no reason to think, looking at recent history or past history, that a third party or independent candidate has a chance of doing it. I think that's why Donald Trump thought about running as an independent once upon a time. He was even in Ross Perot's reform party. If you remember back then, he decided not to Bloomberg the same decision. There's a pattern there. Very hard to win as an independent. Sure John Keller, thank you very much. Paula, over to you.